Hi everybody and welcome back to the channel. In today's quick video I'm going to be showing you how I treated the cladding on my DIY garden room with Osmo UV Protect Oil. As you can see on the screen right now I'm just sanding up the cladding and this has been on for a couple of weeks now so it's had a chance to weather and absorb a little bit of moisture and this will help the oil to adhere to the surface as I understand. This is something that the manufacturer of the oil recommends just leaving the cladding installed for a few weeks before you actually start applying the finish. So basically what I'm doing now is just taking the top surface off with the sander and that's because it has started to weather a little bit and the colours kind of dropped out of it. So by taking it off with a sander now this is just kind of giving it a fresher look. So I luckily had a friend helping with this, he's doing the other side and the back while I do this side and the front. And then the following day I got on with actually applying the oil and this was on my own and you know it wasn't that bad of a job it was quite a nice day so I was out in the sun while I did it and then I had to leave it for 24 hours before I could come back and do the next coat. But as you can see it goes on pretty easily you know it's nothing complicated just simply applying it with a brush. The brush that I am using here by the way it's made by the same brand that makes the oil and they recommend this type of brush and I have to say it was a quite expensive brush, £15, but it really was worth it. I don't think one single bristle came off the brush during the entire two coats, whereas I'm sure if I were using a cheaper brush, there would have been bristles coming off all over the place. It was just a very good quality brush. Also, the oil, I got a really good deal on that. I actually bought it off Amazon. I was going to buy it from B&Q originally, but I found an option on Amazon where they were offering 20% extra. And that actually worked out really well because I would say when this entire job was finished, I probably had, you know, 10% left. So I probably would have really been pushing it on the, you know, second coat had I only bought the two and a half litre option. So the one that I bought from Amazon was three litres and this gave me plenty of coverage on all sides, two full coats. So I was really, really happy with that. I will leave a link to the oil and the brush in the description below just in case you're interested and you need to do a similar job. Because I've got to say, I really do like the finish that I've got from this. So basically, it's a, it's a clear finish. There's no tint in it at all. But as you can see, it really does bring out the grain. It brings out the natural colour of the wood. And even the knots look nice with the oil. And it's kind of got a wet look finish. So there we go. That's the finished job. And listen, guys, I'd really love to know what you think as well. What do you think of the finish? Do you think I made a good choice with this? Would you have potentially chosen something else? Would you have you added a tint to it? You know, something that would have maybe darkened the wood? Yeah, I would I would love to know your opinion. So let me know in the comments below what you think about the finished job and if there's anything that you would have changed. And with that, I will see you in the next video.